Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 5 August 2021. Thursday night, 9 o'clock. Time for a knife sale on the Apostle P channel and that is exactly what we have for you tonight. Before we get into the meat of the sale, a little bit of housekeeping. First up, I need you to be familiar with and agreeable to the terms of the sale. I'm going to post them on the screen for you in just a moment. I'll also reprint them in the description underneath this video for your perusal. Also in the description at the very top, you will see three links to prior videos on this channel. The first, most pertinent to the sale, is my Primer for Buyers video. That is a 38-minute expanded explanation of the terms of the sale. It explains how we do things and why on this weekly sales event. The second link is to my FAQs for Consigners video. If you're interested in using this weekly sale to move along some of your collection, that video explains how it all works from the consigner's perspective. The third link, as always, is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P. Knife Service, the original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. So in the description, it's a very busy description, you will see at the top those three video links, then the terms of the sale, and then at the very bottom will be a list of tonight's inventory complete with timestamps and pricing. In the pricing column, you will generally see two numbers separated by a slash. The number to the left of the slash is your as shown price. The number to the right, that knife as sharpened by the Apostle P Knife Service. And as usual, there will be six spots available tomorrow, Friday the 6th. For next day sharpening so the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight will be done tomorrow and shipped with all of the as shown inventory if you're outside that first six expect your knife to ship in about two weeks i think that's about it for housekeeping time to get the terms up on the screen for you and i'll be back in just a moment with the sale inventory here are the terms All right, let's get to it, shall we? Hey, we got no leftovers from last week, so we are going to get straight into the fresh inventory. First up tonight, from W.R. Case & Sons Cutlery Company, we've got a pretty cool knife. It is a Mako Lockback, number 58 LSS. And I'm not sure what this cover material, it is wood. Okay, it is wood, and this knife built April 15th, 2015, as per the box label, comes in a nice leather sheath with Mr. Case's visage tooled into that sheath. Nice brass snap. Here's the knife. So the Mako... Smaller than the shark tooth, right? Four and one quarter inch closed. We've got brass hardware, the deep case stamp in that end cap. It is a lockback knife. That clip point Mako blade, three and a quarter inches in length. Lockup is rock solid. Action is nice and free. Centering on this one is close, very close. Not sure what the wood is. As I said, it is a laminated wood product, I think. Kind of cool, though. Kind of very open grain. Condition on this knife is near mint to like new in the box. Uh, I think these are selling, by my research, between $50 and $75. 
in various states of condition on eBay. Let's do 65 on this one. 65, it's a super fine example, near mint to like new in the box. And then if you'd like my edge on it, 85 bucks. Next day sharpening available. That is the Case 58L SS Mako. Next up, we've got another lockback. This one from Western. And I don't see any Coleman identification on this one, so it's probably a pre-Coleman Western knife. Nickel silver bolsters and end caps. Laminated rosewood covers. The closed length, and it is model 532, Western model 532 lockback. Closed length 4 and 3 eighths. <clears throat> Blade is stainless steel, not sure what type they used. It is three and one eighth. Nice uh, deer hunting etch there. Nickel silver hardware. Lock back mechanism. Let's see the lock up. It is rock solid. Action's nice and free. Centering's a little off to the right as you're looking at it. Let's do, uh, I saw these selling on eBay, completed sold transactions, between 40 and 55 bucks for this knife. Not a whole lot of examples. This is a super fine one. We'll call it near mint, no box. Uh, how about 45 bucks, guys? $45 that is shipped priority mail, all in. 65 if you'd like it with an Apostle P Edge, next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That is the Western 532 Lockback. Next up, we had some of these last week of the same family. This one from Parker Emi, so a Jim Parker brand. During his days, uh, sort of partnered with Jim Frost, Frost Cutlery in Chattanooga. So Jim had these made by a Japanese company, and they are marked with the Imai, I-M-A-I, maker's mark, surgical steel, made in Japan. This is the model K538, nice drop point lock back folding hunter with that engraved or cast and polished brass hardware. Now this is cow bone that's been sort of jigged and burnt. I think to sort of make it look like a horn. These are really well-made knives, guys. Uh, this one's got zero blade play, two and seven eighths blade, four inch handle. Okay, and let's see. Man, lockup is solid as a rock. Action is buttery. Centering on this one, man, that's pretty much perfect. How about that? So this is the Parker EMI K538. The K538. What we got there? We have a hog etched on the blade. That's a really, really nice knife in the hand, guys. So I could not find this model for pricing reference, but uh, pricing it by the nature of its family, let's go with 35 bucks. $35 shipped priority mail. 55 with my edge on it on the Parker EMI K538. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. Next up, this is a model I've never seen. Again, we are in the Parker family of knives. During the Imai years, made in Japan, surgical steel. This is the model K236, and it's a rather interesting knife. It is a lockback muskrat clip times two. So it is an opposite end, equal end, Lockback Hunter. So check it out. That lock does that blade. That lock does that blade. Closed length is four and a half. And each of those muskrat clip blades is three and three eighths. Again, we're made in Japan with surgical stainless steel. We have no idea what. We've got nickel silver bolsters and what Parker called stag bone, which is 
cow bone that is cut and burnt to look like stag antler. Hardware's nickel silver. Now I do have some blade play slightly in each one of these blades, but the action's nice and free. Plenty secure, just a little bit of play, one more in one than the other. Condition we're going to call excellent, no box. Uh, I found these knives actually having been sold on eBay between 40 and 70 bucks. We're going to do this one. $40 as shown, and then for me to sharpen both blades, add 30 So we'll do $70 sharpened. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That is the Parker EMI K236 opposite end lockback. Pretty cool knife. Next up, in our last from Parker, we have a Parker Eagle brand. Parker Eagle brand, which probably also, this one will not say EMI on it. This will say Parker and Son, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Still made in Japan of surgical stainless steel. It's model M481, and it is, you guessed it, a direct ripoff of the Buck 110. Okay, so we've got four and seven eighths inches of handle, three and three quarter inches of clip point blade, nickel silver bolsters and end caps. And I think Parker called this leopard bone. So it is a cow bone set of covers that's sort of cut and burnt or dyed to look like something. But I think that leopard terminology comes from that appearance, right? The etch on the blade is Texas Sesquicentennial. So apparently it was made in uh, 1986. Let's see. Lock up almost perfect. A very slight amount of play. Super nice action. Centering's off to the left a little bit. These are kind of cool. And a super well-made knife. A little rarer than a buck 110. I actually couldn't find one of these having sold on eBay. How about that? But you can have this one for 60 bucks. 60 bucks like it is. 80 with an Apostle P edge. And uh, no sheath, no box for this one. But it is in near mint condition. That's the Parker M481. Next up, let's see, is this our only combo? Oh, we got two combo deals coming up. First, this will be in your inventory as the Gun Brand Knife Combo. The Gun Brand Knife Combo. So what we got here is one Winchester and two Smith & Wesson Chinese-made licensed branded knives. So first we will look at twins. These are both Smith & Wesson Mavericks. Okay. Oh, if I can get it out of there. And here they are. One is a little nicer than the other. So these are lockback knives with aluminum frames and wood inlays. And if you notice on the one, there's a little chip out of the inlay. This is the nicer one. So <clears throat> these are four and seven eighths inches closed with three inch blades. Oh, look, they're like a family. We have an elk scene and a fish scene. Looks like one of them stamped 1983. So, I don't know, lockup's really solid on them. Uh -huh. They're all right, you know, for what they are. They both come with a sheath, one brown one, one black one. And then we have this Winchester, which is, what do we call this? What do we call this? 
I don't know, it's the W40 liner lock trapper. So we got, I don't know if that's nickel, silver, or aluminum for the end caps and bolsters. We have some jigged Delrin, a Winchester shield, a main drop point that's very gritty, and it's a liner lock. I mean, that's not good at all. <clears throat> and then a spay. That does not have a lock. That one is uh, four and a half inches closed. Comes in a nylon sheet. So you get all three of those bad boys for. That's not going to go in like that. Big dummy. How about like that? There we go. How about just 20 bucks a knife for these guys? So that whole set. The gun brand combo, 60 bucks plus 20 each to sharpen. Next day sharpening available if they're among the first six. And that brings us to the next sale lot for the evening. We're calling this the CRKT Benchmade Combo. So the first knife, and it comes in a buck sheath, but it's not a buck knife from Columbia River Knife and Tool, that maker of funky gadgets, we have the CRKT Van Hoyt Snap Lock. So you pull down this little cam lever and it comes out of the handle and then it locks open. You get a little Warncliffe blade. And these were, I don't have any idea what steel. You got a pocket clip. And then it folds back into the handle. Kind of neat. These generally sell between 25 and 50 bucks used on eBay. And then you got this interesting little thing from Benchmade. It's called the Benchmade 6 H2O. And it is basically just a gut hook. Just a gut hook. And it's pretty doggone sharp. I'm not sure what this thing's all about. It's got, I, somebody might know. I, I guess that's why it's called a six, right? Uh, shaped like a six. Comes in a little molded plastic dangle, dangleable neck sheath. I guess that's a good hunting tool for somebody. Those generally do between 25 and 35 bucks on eBay. Uh, let's see. How about, yeah, I don't know. 60 bucks for that combo. 60 bucks for the CRKT Benchmade combo. And then plus 20 if you'd like me to sharpen the Van Hoy snap lock. Next up, we've got another one for Columbia River Knife and Tool. This is the CRKT M16-14Z. And it is a it is a, it is a Tonto. <laughs> it's a flipper on Teflon. It flips better than that. I promise it does. Yeah, there we go. Silky smooth Teflon action. Nice centering. Rock solid lockup. It is a liner lock with the locks lake and walker knife safety system so you slide that forward and you cannot disengage the liner lock you slide it back and you can so this is rocking a blade of os 8a three and seven eighths inches in length with a nice bead blast tanto edge combo edge handle is frn with stainless steel liners right hand tip down pocket clip Got a couple little scuffs on the clip, but other than that, the knife is squared away. We'll call it excellent no box. Uh, these are selling on eBay between $42 and $58 pre-owned. I think they're discontinued. This one can be yours. Excellent no box, $40. Bucks. $40 like it is, $60 if you like an Apostle P edge on it. That's in your inventory as CRKT M16-14Z Tonto.
next day, sharpening available if it's one of the first six. Next up, we started with a case and we're going to finish this sort of traditional consignment section with another case. This is kind of a special one. This is the <laughs> TBBH1546 and a half SS back pocket in buffalo horn. Tony Bow's design, jigged buffalo horn covers on the back pocket, four and five eighths inches of closed length, bare end, nickel silver bolsters, and that Bosian blade, kind of shaped like a Canadian hunter with a big cut swedge and a nail neck forward, true sharp stainless steel, half stops, nice little five, five and a half pull, beautiful walk and talk, condition near mint to like new in box, couldn't find a pricing reference for this knife. It was made in 2013. 722 of 2013. There is one currently listed knife on eBay, the same model. They want $199 for it. Buy it now. This one can be yours. Near mint to like new in the box. $120, $120 like it is. $140 with an Apostle P edge. That is the case TBBH1546 and a half SS back pocket. Next up, we got a little run of steel sharp knives by Frank Velez. Yes, we do. There is Frank's card. The knife we're going to look at will be in your inventory as the steel sharp Nicholson clip point. Because it is a clip point blade made from a Nicholson file. We know that's some good steel. Uh, so, we've got a beautiful little Kydex sheath with the little J clip thing going on. Tight fit on this one. Look at that. Tiger stripe etch. Full one quarter inch of Nicholson stock. Saber ground, cord wrapped. Blade length on this one is three and an eighth. The handle is three and a half. That works well in the hand, by the way. It is brand new from the maker. And your price on this one is going to be 120, guys. 120. Handmade custom by Frank Velas of Steel Sharp Knives. That is the Steel Sharp Nicholson Clip Point. Next up, another one from Steel Sharp by Frank Velas. We're going to call this one the Steel Sharp two and a quarter inch sheep's foot. I would call it a Warncliffe, but Frank calls it a sheep foot. The blade is 5160 alloy steel, one eighth inch stock. It comes in a Kydex sheath with a belt loop. Here's the knife. A diminutive little 2 and 3 8 inch blade backed up with a 3 and 5 8 inch handle with some laminated brightly colored wood. We've got orange and sort of a teal, white liners. Now don't be fooled by the tang thickness because the whole thing is taken down to an eighth and then full flat ground. And the finish on this is called True Oil. So I don't know how it does the achieves that sort of blackish color. Maybe it's a one step sort of acid etch and lubricant. I'm not sure how that works. Frank could probably explain that. Really nice in the hand. Very, very nice little utility blade. See if I can get it back in the sheath without cutting myself. I sure can. No rattle on that one. So, on the steel sharp two and a quarter inch sheep's foot, 135, brand new from the maker, shipped priority mail. 150 if you'd like it with my edge on it. Next up, our third knife from the steel sharp 
by Frank Velas. We're going to call this one the Steel Sharp 2 and 5 8 inch sheep's foot. 5160 blade, 1 8 inch stock, black palm handle, the true oil finish, red liners, brass pins, 3 and 16 inch, 3 16 inches in diameter, and then an acid stonewashed blade with a true oil finish. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Felt loop Kydex. Well, there's that sheep's foot blade. There's that black palm. Look at that. Mm. As I said, two and th five eighths. Uh, yeah, two and five eighths inches of blade. Three and seven eighths inches of handle. How is it in hand? Not bad. Nice little thumb divot. I like that. I like that. Big old pommel end on it. Grind is very thin. Uh -huh. That is nice. That is a pretty cool knife. So price on this one, the two and five eighths inch sheep's foot. Let's do 145. 145 like it is. Brand new from the maker. Shipped priority mail. If you like my edge on it, add 20. So 165. Next up in our last Steel Sharp by Frank Velez knife in tonight's sale. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is, it's, he never does this, but he did. He never names his knives when he sends them to me. This one is The Beast. A quarter inch thick, chisel ground, Nicholson file blade, full tang of course, acid stone wash blade or acid wash blade and pins black canvas micarta handles with a black kydex sheath with clip mm -hmm. this is pretty cool guys nicely made sheath nicely made j clip oh yeah this was hard to get in the sheath and it's going to be equally as hard to get out of the sheath but i got it broke loose oh my god man that's a tight fit so there's the knife. You can see the remnants of the Nicholson file markings. And I love how he did the spine. So he, he knocked off the file teeth on the bulk of the handle, left them sharp right where you went jimping, and then ground them off. And look at the chisel grind on that blade. That's a hefty chunk. All stealthed out. Blade length on this one is five and a quarter. The handle is four and seven eighths. We got a little exposed tang for impact. Um, that's like a mini chopper is what that is. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Brand new from the maker. Your price on this one, guys, is going to be 160. 160 like it is. 190 if you'd like my edge on it. What I would do, what I would recommend is just exactly what Frank did. He's got like a little convex going on. And then he sort of did a deburring pass on the back side. Which that's exactly how you'd sharpen a knife with that profile. Could it be a little sharper? Probably. That is The Beast from Frank Vela's Steel Sharp Knives. 160 like it is, 190 sharpen. Okay, next up, we got a little cutie right here. From Kershaw, made in the USA, we have a Launch 10. What a cool little knife. I'm not much of a tiny knife guy, but these are so cool. Gray hard anodized aluminum frame reversible deep carry tip up pocket clip button lock auto and that sweet little hawk bill just two and an eighth inches in length cpm 154 beautifully stone washed rock solid lockup dead centering and snappy launch action condition on this one is like new in the box 
you can buy these brand new right now at your favorite knife retailer on the web for 90 bucks or just buy this one 75 shipped priority mail like new in the box 95 if you like it with an apostle p edge that is the kershaw launch 10. next up this is kind of silly because this is it's a it's a cheap knife and it comes in this ridiculously large box this is the boker plus kalashnikov 09 and inside the box you get a sheath because there's no clip on the knife it is a belt folder right and here's the knife I, <clears throat> I guess some of you boker kalashnikov collectors know what that's supposed to look like does it look like a magazine i don't know it's just a liner lock manual action Blade steel is 7 RCN, uh, 7 CR17 MOV, 3 and 3 eighths inches of blade, 4 and 7 sixteenths inches of handle. I think there's some aluminum here. There's some, maybe some G10. I laugh, but it's actually really nice in the hand. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a liner lock on Teflon. Can you see the lock engagement? It's rock solid. And the action's buttery because of those washers. Centering is actually, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of dead down the middle. Uh, condition on this is going to be near mint to like new in the box. They're out of stock. When they were in stock, they were 35 bucks at your favorite web retailer. This one can be yours. 25 bucks like it is, 45 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Boker Kalashnikov 09. Mm -hmm. Got to put stuff back so I don't knock it over, which is always a challenge. Next up, from Kaiser, we have the Kaiser Model KI3502 Minitherium. Minitherium. Comes in that sleeved clamshell box with those little magnetic closures. Check it out, guys. That is a sweet carbon fiber scale. Blue titanium backspacer, blue titanium clip. It is a flipa. Sort of a fat warning flipper, right? S35VN, three inch blade, four and three sixteenths inch handle. It really locks into your hand. Appears to be a stainless steel liner lock ball bearing flipper. Mm -hmm. It is like new in the box. These are available at web retailers currently. Web price for this knife brand new is $198. This one is like new in the box. Your price shipped priority mail $160. $160 like it is $180 if you'd like an Apostle P Edge, by the way. I mentioned three inches of S35 EM. I think I did. That is the Kaiser KI3502 Mini Therium. Next up, it is another one from Kaiser in that sweet velvety cardboard box. This is the Ray Laconico design KI4468 Intrepid. Now, these knives have gone away, they are out of stock and probably discontinued. And man, what a pretty thing that is. Gorgeous, melted, bead blasted titanium handle, blue hardware, blue titanium milled clip, steel inserted stainless steel frame lock. And I believe that's a flipper, but it's on phosphor bronze. It is sweet. Those are not ball bearings. That is phosphor bronze washers, and man, do they work. Perfectly centered blade. you got to actually be on the flipper. S35 VN is your blade steel. It's beautifully stone washed. I'm getting grubby fingerprints all over this thing. It will be better. Okay, there we go. Gorgeous Laconico Harpoon Clip. 
three and five eighths inches of blade, four and nine sixteenths inches of handle. There's your lock engagement. There's a perfect blade centering. Everything's gorgeous on this knife. It's like new in the box. So when these were available, web retailers had them priced at 180. I don't know if Blade HQ had trouble selling them because they closed them out at 110. And then they went like gone. Currently, these knives are selling sold listings on eBay between 160 and 220. This one can be yours for a hundred dollars, guys. One hundred dollars. 120 if you like it with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available. If it's one of the first six, that's the Kaiser KI4468 Intrepid. Next up. We have a knife from uh, Civivi. This is the Duras, the D-R-U-D-U-R-U-S Damascus version. So you got your black G10 handle, ambidextrous deep carry clip. Uh -huh. Ball bearing flipper with Damascus steel. The blade three inches long, the handle three and 15 sixteenths. Rock solid lock up with the stainless steel liner lock. Perfect flipping action and perfect centering. Condition on this Duras is like new in the box. This Damascus version is out of stock. When they were in stock, they were 76 bucks. This one can be yours like new in the box for 55. And then 75 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. That is the Civivi Duras. Next up, another one from Civivi in pouch. This is the Civivi McKenna, the McKenna. A very interesting little knife. Black G10 handle, deep carry, ambidextrous pocket clip. Handle length is three and seven eighths. This is a front flipper, and I can actually flip it. I think. Yes, I did. Very cool little modified sheep's foot blade. D2 is your blade steel. Blade length is two and fifteen sixteenths. The handle is three and seven eighths. Works very well in the hand. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh my goodness. Lockup is rock solid. There's your lock engagement. There's blade centering. Ain't gonna beat that. Yeah. So it's like new in the box. Web price on the McKenna at your favorite retailer will be about 68 bucks. This one can be yours for 45, 45 dollars, 65 if you'd like it with an Apostle P edge. That's the Civivi McKenna. Next up, another one from Civivi in the pouch. This is the Civivi Plethiros, Plethiros, Plethiros. A G10 and carbon fiber laminate handle with some mill relief to reveal the G10 underneath the carbon fiber, kind of cool. We've got a deep carry ambidextrous pocket clip. We have a four and seven sixteenths inch handle. It's a flipper, but I'm not going to call it a front flipper because you do use your index finger. Uh -huh. Three and a half inch blade in D2. It really locks in deep to the hand. There's your stainless steel liner lock engagement. It is rock solid. This is going to be boring because it's a Civivi. The centering is perfectly down the middle. The condition is like new in pouch. Web price on the Plethoros brand new is 75 bucks at your favorite retailer. This one can be yours for 50, like new in the box, shipped priority mail. 70 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. Next up, it's another Civivi with pouch. This one is the Anthropos. Anthropos with a I think this is a carbon fiber over FRN like a rat. 
okay that's not solid carbon fiber and it's probably not g10 underneath but it's kind of a cool handle mm -hmm. four and a quarter inches a handle a front mounted standard flipper d2 blade steel the blade is three and a quarter now this one is on phosphor bronze to my eye i can't see any little balls in there but the centering is perfect and so is the flipping action. And the lockup is as well. Do we have a little forward choil there? We do. Uh -huh. Deep carry ambidextrous clip. Everything totally squared away. Uh, condition is like new in the pouch. These are currently available at your favorite web retailer for 75 bucks. Or you could just buy this one. 50 bucks, $50 shipped priority mail. 70 with an Apostle P. Edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. <clears throat> That's the Civivi Anthropos. Next up, we have a little run of knives from Tucson in Yangjiang, China. Mm -hmm. This one is the TS41 Mini Microfire Ant in M390. That's a lot of stuff. We're just going to call it the TS41. Look at that tiny little thing. 2 and 11 16 inches closed, sort of a black washed titanium with a fully milled titanium clip. And it's almost like so tiny, it hard, it's hard to work in my man hands. There's your little M390 blade, 2 and 1 8 inches in length. We got a steel inserted titanium frame lock. There's your engagement. It's rock solid. Ball bearing action is dead smooth. There's your perfect centering. Condition on this TS41 is like new in the box. I found these at White Mountain Knives, brand new, online for 76 bucks. This one can be yours for 50. 50 bucks like it is, and then 70 with an Apostle Piedge on that M390 blade. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. The Tucson TS41. Time to turn the page. Next up, another one from Tucson. This is the Tucson uh, TS86 in D2. And here's the knife. A really cool two-tone titanium handle. Mm -hmm. So you got satin flats. And then DLC coated titanium on the parts that weren't sanded. Interesting pocket clip. Four and three eighths inches of handle. Out from which flips that stylized Warncliffe blade in D2. Three and a half inches long. It's a ball bearing flipper. There's your lock engagement on the steel insert. Rock solid lockup. Perfect centering. Flipping action is pretty darn nice. Yep. Condition is going to be like new in the box. I couldn't find this knife at American retailers, but I did find them at AliExpress for $77. This like new example can be yours for $50. $50 bucks, like it is $70 sharpened. By the Apostle P Knife Service and next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's the Tucson TS86. Next up in our final Tucson tonight. Mm -hmm. And this is the TS111 in D2. Cool little sort of swayback e knife with a carbon fiber scale, a DLC coated and slightly tumbled titanium frame. Steel inserted titanium frame lock. Looks like a milled titanium clip. Ball bearing flipper. That D2 blade is three and a half inches, four and five eighths handle. Rock solid lockup. Beautiful action. Centering, I'm going to say, is close. I bet I could tweak that pivot and have it center up. I bet you I could. It is like new in the box. 
I did find this one at White Mountain Knives for 70. This one can be yours, like new in the box for 45. 45 like it is, 65 sharpened on the Tucson TS-111. Next up, we have a wee knife in pouch lacking the box. I believe all the other goodies are here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the wee miscreant. And be careful, guys, as you're sending, I'll take it. I've got this one, the original 4-inch variety, so it will say We Miscreant 4-inch. I've got the small 3.0 coming up later in the sale, so just be clear in your I'll take it. So we have a sort of black wash titanium frame. It's like DLC and tumbled, and then when they do these chamfers on the holes, then they go in and do a bronze anno. So it kind of even leaves a bronzy appearance even on the DLC. It's hard to explain. The gorgeous wee pivot. Mm -hmm. That fully milled titanium clip is going to be ambidextrous. Notice the relief cut for lefties. It is a ball bearing flipper. S35VN blade, a full four inches in length. Got a little forward choil there. Steel inserted titanium frame lock, rock solid lock up, buttery smooth, dead centering. Condition on this one is going to be like new in pouch, no box. Uh, they are out of stock right now. When they were in stock at your web retailer, they were 233. This one can be yours, like new in pouch, 190. And then 210 with an Apostle P edge. That's the Wee Miscreant 4 inch. Next up, I'm going to trick you. This knife is not a Civivi. This is a Cold Steel Ultimate Hunter that you're going to get in a Civivi pouch. Okay, so you got your handle. Five inches of deeply blasted G10. You have mounting spots for both clips. We have no clips with the knife, guys. No clip. We have a triad lock that is working like butter. Centering's close on this one. Lockup is Demco solid. Blade steel CTS XHP. Uh-huh. So it's been touched up. It's been used and touched up. It's got some edge wear. But cosmetically, it's quite, quite good. Um, these things are bringing blood since they're discontinued. They're running uh, sold listings on eBay between 110 and 145 Obviously, those would probably have clips. Um, but this one can be yours. What a great little glove box of the truck knife. $75, guys. $75 like it is. $95 if you'd like my edge on it. Then you got something. Right? That's the Cold Steel Ultimate Hunter. Next up, I have a knife from a brand I've never seen or heard of. I guess I'm not staying in touch as much as I should. From Cancept Knives, we have the Cryo with a K. And it comes in a little sheath. Mm -hmm. Inside the sheath comes a knife. What we got here? We got a little black wash action going on on a titanium frame lock. Some blue hardware. A blue titanium fully milled clip. I got a little hickey there. There we go. Uh -huh. That same finish carried through onto the blade. A swedged drop point. Blade Steel's S35 VN. Blade length 3 and 9 sixteenths. Handle 4 and 9 sixteenths. Clip is going to be ambidextrous. That's interesting. I wonder how it'll look over there. Huh. 
It'll be curved the wrong way, but I guess it'll work. Got a nice lanyard tied up with a titanium bead. Your steel inserted titanium frame lock locks up there. It is rock solid. Your ball bearing action is silky smooth. Your centering is perfect. We'll call it near mint in box. These knives are available right now at Blade HQ and other retailers for $1.99. This one can be yours, however. In near mint to like new condition. Shipped priority mail, $150. 150, 170 sharpened on the Cancept Cryo. Next up, it's Kershaw time, an American made Kershaw time to boot. We have a Kershaw Quad 7, 7777 bare knuckle in that blue gray hard anodized aluminum handle. And watch it, guys. I am going to put my fingers on the lock bar and it flips open. Almost every bare knuckle I've ever had in my hand has death lock. If you touch the lock bar, you lock the knife closed. Not this one. So if you're a bare knuckle fan, maybe you've even owned a bare knuckle and sold it because it locked itself closed. Here's your knife. Blade steel, 14C28N from Sandvik, three and a half inches of blade. Four and five eighths inches of handle. Deep carry recessed clip that can be a bit of a pain, but uh, looks like this owner pulled it up a little bit just for access, so it probably works better. You get your subframe lock. Lock up is rock solid. Ball bearing pivot. Perfect centering. There's one little hickey on this knife, one little rub right at the nose of the knife. me not the knife we'll call it near mint in box and it's got a pretty nice polished edge on it so nice i'm not going to say i would even want to sharpen it at this point okay so it's near mint no box near mint no box with a polished edge no death lock Map pricing on the bare knuckle brand new is 73 bucks at your favorite retailer this can be yours for 50 Shipped. Priority mail. That's the Kershaw Quad 7 Bare Knuckle. Next up, I teased you with this one yesterday in the Heads Up video. From a Hinderer Knives, made in the USA, we got an X-18 3.5 Harpoon Sponto with blue anno and black G10. Or does that say blue and black G10? I don't know. Does it have blue and black G10? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Anyway, I think this is a Gen 4 knife. So it's going to have uh, no triway. Riding on Teflon. Love that blue titanium. Working finish on the frame and blade. And watch this, man. Yep, that's not a triway. There's your Harpoon Sponto. Now, this has my edge on it, but I'll, I'll say it had my edge on it. There's been some touching up since I sharpened it. It's still pretty good, but it's not as pretty as it was when it left here. And, you know, it's had some micro bevel work done. So I'm going to give you a sharpening price. I'm not saying it needs to be sharpened, but it's not as it, has, as it would leave my bench, okay? M390 blade. Rock solid and dead centered. So we will call this one near mint in box with an old Apostle P edge. Your price on this one? They're creeping back up again, my friends. 340, 340 like it is, 365 for me to hit it again. That is the Hender XM18 3.5 Harpoon Spanto. And next up, from the Wii Knife Company, I told you this was coming. This is the Miscreant 3.0. And be sure when you send your I'll Take It that you reference it correctly. Miscreant 3.0, not Miscreant or Miscreant 4 inch. Here's the knife. And it is a handle of 3 and 7 eighths inches in DLC coated titanium and 
just on the show side, those five holes are chamfered after coating so that you get the presentation. Gorgeous little svelte titanium frame lock. This is going to be right hand tip up only with the deep carry clip. Nice little acid stonewash blade, three inches in length, and CPM 20 CV. Rock solid lock up. There's your engagement. Ball bearing action is ultra smooth on this one. Centering's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's like new in the box. Web price on this knife, brand new, is 170 Or just buy this one. Shipped, priority mail, all in. 150 150 175 with an Apostle P. Edge. That is the Wii Miscreant 3.0. Okay, guys, next we are going to get into the Oz Fettinger Leukemia Fund donations. They're all watches, and I got three of them. Okay, first up from Oris. Oh. I have a sleeve. These boxes are just ridiculously large. And a box. And, oops. And a flap. And underneath the shelf is a manual and all that good stuff. What I didn't show you was the travel case. And that's going to have your pillow, all the extra links, all your tags. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on the pillow is a watch. Now, this is that deep blue dial Oris Aquas. Reference number is 733-7653-4155MB. So it's the 43 millimeter Aquas ceramic bezel, integrated bracelet, polished outer links, brushed center, and look at that drape. This is going to be an older version, but I believe those are still screw links. Get your dive extension on the clasp, three micro adjusts, it does have a display case back with Oris's red rotor on the Salita SW200-1. We do have a little bit of rash, just I think from laying the watch, watch down on the nine o'clock side of the case and some normal desk diving scratches on the bracelet. But the Sapphire Double Dome Crystal is unmarked as is the Sapphire Bezel. Date at six o'clock. Uh, I'll throw a loom shot in here for you now. It does quite nicely. Uh -huh. I have timed this over the last 24 hours. It's running about minus 14 seconds a day dial up in the box. So who knows what that means wearing it, but it might run a little quicker than that. And it's sized up for a larger wrist than mine right now. My wrist a little over seven inches. This is probably sized for about a seven and three eighths inch wrist. And there's plenty of links in there to make it bigger if you like. So with its normal daily wear scratches, we'll call it excellent in box. It was serviced by the way, July of 2020. Uh, used examples of this right now are available on Chrono 24 between 995 and 1500. This one can be yours excellent in the box with all of its papers tags and extra links shipped priority mail 800 bucks 800 on the oris aquas 43 millimeter blue excuse me while i put stuff back <laughs> oh golly i'm bumping into stuff next up all right psychoholics psychopaths it's time for you to shine We've got a box. So 
says Seiko on it. We got, why did I put the tags on upside down? It's an SRPA21 Patty Turtle. Patty Turtle. The bracelet is here and it's brand new. The stickers have never been peeled. But it's your, you know, normal cheap Seiko bracelet. All stamped. They work just fine. You have your uh, dive extension, which I'm not going to do because of the, they're a pain in the butt to get back together. Okay. That's that. And then you're also going to get a watch. So the patty usually means red and blue. In this case, it certainly does. Aluminum bezel, red and blue. Beautiful blue sunburst dial. Some red accents, especially on the hour hand. It's got your 4R36 automatic movement, which I prefer the 6Rs. <clears throat> Cushion case, and we're going to have just a little bit. This is the same, uh, the same donor that donated the Oros. I think he set his watches down at night on that 9 o'clock side, so some very light scratching there. Hardlex crystal. Case back is solid. So it's wearing a, a kind of a, what do they call it, a Zulu when it doesn't have the second wrap on the NATO. Yeah. So the turtle dimensions are 44 diameter, 47 lug to lug, 13 and a half thick, 22 lug width. Okay. Um, this is running, no kidding, guys less than a second slow in the 24 hours that I timed it. Now, it was in the box, but that's great for a Seiko. Absolutely great. So we'll call this one excellent in box with both bracelet and strap. Uh, sold listings on eBay for the Patty Turtle running right now between $290 and $400. This one can be yours for $250. $250. On the Seiko SRPA 21 Patty Turtle. Next up in our last item in the sale and our last donation for the Oz Fettinger Leukemia Fund is another Seiko and it's another Turtle. This is the SRP 777, the classic Turtle, right? The black dial Turtle. The factory strap is with it and it's never been worn. It was taken off immediately and swapped with a Bond NATO or Zulu because it only has the one pass underneath the watch. So your turtle dimensions 44 diameter, 47 lug to lug, 13 and a half thick, 22 millimeter lug width, black dial, black aluminum bezel. Here is your loom shot. Uh -huh. 4R36 movement. This one is running not great. About minus 30 seconds per day in the 24 hours that I timed it. But heck, what the heck? Who cares? It's a freaking beater Seiko, right? Um, with both the NATO and the rubber factory strap. We'll call it excellent in box. These are running between like 250 and 400 on eBay. Sold listings. This can this one can be yours for 240, 240 on the Seiko SRP 777 Turtle. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another weekly knife sale on the Apostle P channel. Thank you for hanging out with me. I sure enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp. Now commence to clicking.